climate change in the Arctic. The warmists uh, and the BBC like talking about the Arctic to back up their delusional climate change theory. And they do this rather than talk about the real weather that people experience, because what people have experienced in Britain and Ireland is the opposite this summer to the so-called theory of global warming. And furthermore, they now have a policy of talking about anything other than temperature, because world temperatures are not rising, the world is in fact cooling. Here we have a graph from the Global Warming Policy Foundation using official data. These are the warmest five years in the last 15 years, and here we have 2012. By any measure, including fiddle data, um, this is colder, even though CO2 has been rising. And here's a graph of CO2 in the last few decades going up and the corresponding temperatures. And by, again, by any measure, world temperatures are now declining. So the last thing they want to talk about is temperature and they'll bring in anything else they can and claim it's caused by temperature rising when it's not. Now, the most recent event in the Arctic was this large area of low pressure, which they called a storm, but it wasn't really. It's something much bigger. It's about a change in circulation pattern. So when it happened, we said this was an indicator of a general circulation change, which is happening as part of our prediction of shifting towards the Little Ice Age, and specifically would result or go along with jet stream going further south. What we said about the jet stream going further south was confirmed. Now, the warmest then say, oh, well, this is all part of global warming. But of course, that is complete nonsense because their own textbooks say that jet stream moving south in the northern hemisphere means cooling. It can mean nothing else. So their propaganda says warming is cooling. This is absurd. Right. Now, let's have a look at the claims in detail and the actual facts. They claimed that now we had less ice than in records over the last 30 years and they claimed this is to do with man-made carbon dioxide. The facts are, first of all, there's actually more ice now, according to the NOAA records, these are US official records, more ice now than there was at the minimum of 2007. This is what's happening now. Records show, and you can get the references on our website, more ice now than 2007. So the claim was actually false. The other thing they didn't tell you is that this low pressure area with winds on the surface causes the ice to break up. That means the satellites cannot measure the ice as well as they could before. So the satellites think there's less ice than there actually is. So their records of the ice amount anyway are false. And when this low pressure declines, they'll suddenly find the ice sticking back together and the satellites will record more ice. Third fact. They claim this low pressure area is, is somehow associated with warming. But look, this is just complete nonsense. We live in the Northern Hemisphere, summer months, low pressure, clouds means cooling. You know that from your own backyard. And it applies in the Arctic just as well. This thing here is not causing warming and it's not an expression of warming. It's an expression of a change of circulation towards more of these little ice age type phenomena. Final fact. The jet stream moving south 
I repeat, is a sign of world cooling. And the fact that the global warmists have suddenly started talking about it will be their death knell. They will regret they ever started talking about the jet stream because the weather uh, action indicators of our solar lunar action technique are able to predict when it's going to change and show that this means cooling. For more information on the origin of these graphs, to subscribe to our forecast uh, uh, services, go on the website weatheraction.com and bear in mind we are heading towards a little ice age in the next years and decades and the current climate propaganda is pointing the world in the wrong direction. Thank you for watching.